Hello and welcome to the GCC Innova video tutorial for using knowledge base articles within Microsoft CRM. So what do we mean by knowledge base articles? Well effectively it's any sort of frequently asked questions or even procedures with your own company where a user can just go to and get an answer to their particular question. So we're going to set them up first and uh, in service knowledge base and then you're given the three cues effectively when you create an article it goes into draft and then you can work on it until you finalized it you can then submit it up for approval and then the person with appropriate approval rights will then publish it out so it's then accessible by the rest of the company so I'm just going to come in and select new here it's brought up the four built-in templates that I have but I can add uh, as many templates as I wish here that's within settings we'll come into there a little later so I'm going to select solution to a problem here. Select OK and then it brings through however this template is defined. So I'm just going to create myself a title here of CRM toolbar missing in Outlook. So that's our issue. It then applies to the subject tree. So we already have one created for Microsoft CRM. Keywords, so when someone's searching, what will they be looking for? Perhaps they're looking for CRM, just separate by a comma, um, toolbar, anything along those lines, whatever they could be searching for on there, just add a comma in between the words. And then we come down to what the users will see. So we can now define the problem. So we can say the CRM toolbar is missing in the Outlook client. We can then insert a solution to the problem, which we close down Outlook and then run your diagnostics. And then we can add additional comments on as well if we wish to. But I'm fine here at the moment. As you notice, you can format the text as well. But I'm good with that at the moment and I'm just going to go ahead and save there. So now it's saved into draft and I can then go ahead and submit and it will then move into the unapproved queue. So I'm now gone into the unapproved queue. Now depending on my rights I currently have global rights so I can actually go ahead and approve this or it might then need to be approved by someone else within your organization but I'm just going to go ahead and approve this particular article so now I'm appearing in the published section. So what does this now mean? Well, it means that uh, when we're going through and solving customer care incidents on a tech case or anything along those lines, for instance, perhaps we should just open up this case here, just as an example, we can then actually pick up the knowledge base article to solve the case by. So this one already has one attached, but I'm just going to delete that one out. I can come in and find my knowledge base article either by exact text or like. I'm just going to come in and click on search. So I found my CRM tool while missing an outlook. I could have narrowed it down by the subject but you're getting the idea here on being able to search through. I can have a quick look at the article here or I can just attach it straight through to the case. So now I know how that case was solved. and I can just come in and I can also click here to show the article. But the other important thing is I can also email this article straight back to the customer. So I can just select email knowledge base article. It comes through and I've got all my email set up here waiting with my knowledge base article already embedded. It doesn't have to come from there. If uh, it's just a general querying, you don't have to raise a case. We can just come into create new activity, come straight onto email. And with an email, I have insert knowledge base article here too. So I can just come on and select again. And once again, I can come in and search for anything this time in a particular subject. Click on search. Oops. Let me just put in the criteria there. Click on search. And we're through and we get our knowledge base article again. Once again, I can view the article before I insert. But I'm just going to go ahead and insert. And again, I have my knowledge base article there all set to be sent through to the client so it really will speed up any frequently asked questions. Okay so just to set up where those template types are 
you need to come down to settings again if you have the rights to do so into templates into article templates and within here you can either amend ones that are there already or go ahead and create a new article article template obviously give it a more meaningful title than that and just go ahead and insert whichever sections and properties of sections you wish to have just to build what the template is going to look like when people start to use this particular one okay so that's using knowledge base articles within Microsoft CRM